Good evening. Welcome to Facebook Live, Understanding Upward Bound. I know it said that Dr. Tafoya was going to be the moderator here today. However, he had to do something else, so I'm filling in. My name is Carl Hobbs. I am the principal at Harvard High School, and I'm here today with the coordinators for our new Upward Bound program. And before we introduce them, I want to remind you as you're watching this to make sure that you leave a comment or, or leave a question uh, while we're doing this uh, process so we can go ahead and answer those questions for you. But first, let's introduce our people here who are here for Upward Bound. Oh, good afternoon. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. I'd like to thank the, the viewers uh, for, for tuning in. Uh, my name is uh, Rene Govea. I am uh, the director for Upward Bound. I'm currently located at uh, McHenry County College. All right, my name is Melissa Sanchez, and I am the Upward Bound Advisor, and I'm located at Harvard High School in room 221. Okay, and again, a reminder, I'm going to be doing this throughout. Make sure if you have a, a question or a comment, please leave it uh, while we're doing the Facebook Live. To start, let's talk about what is Upward Bound and how can it help Harvard students? Well, essentially what uh, Upward Bound is, is a college readiness program that is designed to assist high school students in successfully completing high school and going on to college, successfully finishing college. Along the way, we'd like to introduce them to resources that would help make that, that journey a little bit easier for them. Um, but just to give a little bit of background about Upward Bound, Upward Bound um, has, a, has a long history. It's been in existence since 1964 through uh, the Economic Opportunity Act and the Higher Education Act of 1965, but it just happens to be that it's a brand new program here serving the Harvard community. Um, and so we definitely look forward to, to assisting the Harvard High School students and look forward to also assisting uh, the incoming uh, middle school students as well. Yeah, and to add on top of that too, so we focus with the student, with the 60 students we'll be working with, um, we'll be really helping them out with any sort of academic tutoring after school, which will be provided about four times a week. Um, college advisement, so anywhere from financial aid, scholarships, college applications would be a, f a resource to the students as well. Um, career explorations and then making field trips available to visit universities and local colleges um, and then provide them also multicultural um, field trips as well. Okay, great, thanks. Who uh, are the intended participants in this program? So the, the intended participants for, for the Upper Bound program are two-thirds of our students would have to come from first-generation college student households, low-income households, um, or have an academic need. One-third of our students can be either or first-generation or low-income. Um, but please, um, we'll, we'll, we definitely plan to leave our information here. Um, if you have any hesitation or any questions, we would highly encourage you to reach out to us. Mm -hmm. And currently, um, we have spoken to a freshman, sophomore class and actively recruiting juniors. Um, and then as well, we are looking for incoming eighth, uh, freshmen, so eighth graders, current eighth graders right now. Um, but we can't officially accept them until they have graduated from their um, eighth grade middle school. And again, it's important to remember that uh, Melissa is actually in Harvard High School. So mm -hmm. her location is in the building, so she's always accessible. Yes. Um, so now this is the front end of Upward Bound. We're just building this program right now. What will this sure. look like when it's fully developed? Kind of give us an idea where this goes. Mm -hmm. Well, ideally, um, we'd like to look back and be able to say that we were able to provide these students the necessary resources that they've needed to finish high school and go on to college, um, help them dive into those, those resources that are available to them should it be through a scholarship or through a grant or any other tools that are, that are available to these students. Um, I think also a big important piece of this program is building a report, which is going to take time, um, you know, academically and then personally. So if they do need additional resources, they have that um, trusting relationship that they can come to us and we can hopefully help them with any needs that they need. And, and if I can add to that, um, we realize life itself is difficult as it is with, mm -hmm. with mortgages and, and car loans and whatnot. If we can help these students get through college with as little as debt as possible, mm -hmm. that would be the ultimate goal. Yeah. And with this program, you follow them throughout, correct? That mm -hmm. is correct. That mm -hmm. is correct. Okay. Now, I know even though we're on the front end of this, I know you've already had a number of activities and events so far. Can you kind of fill us in on some of the activities you already had? Yeah, definitely. So actually this past 
um, February, we had the opportunity to attend um, the Ushley conference, conference, which stands for the United States Hispanic Leadership Institute, um, where the students were able to listen to some motivational speakers. Um, they were to uh, they were getting information front end about financial aid, college applications, and how to apply for scholarships. Um, they also were able to attend a career and college fair, which was located at the bottom area of the hotel. Um, so it was a really unique experience for them. Um, we had about 30 students attend, so that was a really great outcome. Um, we also did the Latino Empowerment from MCC, so McHenry County College, um, where students were able to attend and learn more information about how to apply for MCC, um, financial resources that were available for them. So once again, about uh, financial aid, um, any scholarships available for them, and then classes that they can take um, or majors that they can you know, be majoring at MCC as well. Um, and then we're hoping that for the future, we will actually be doing this over um, spring break on the 30th, March 30th. Uh, we're hoping to go ahead and do a college tour at NIU um, and once again get the information provided with financial aid, any resources on campus, um, organizations that you know they can be involved with, um, as well as other resources that just are available for them. I know that we've gotten in contact with the Latino Resource Center, the Gender and Sexuality Resource Center. Um, so just some extra feedback that we can get from the NIU community. And, and if I can add to that, um, as of recently, we've had a tremendous success and outpouring support from, from the community of Harvard um, with our introduction of the Upper Bound program to mm -hmm. our eighth graders, to our ninth graders, to our sophomores as well. So our intention going forward, we'd also like to extend this invitation out to um, the 11th grader, the juniors. So um, this Thursday coming up, we're actually having a family orientation at Harvard High School from six to eight. Mm -hmm. um, that way we can give the juniors a, a breakdown of what to expect with the program, what benefits um, they can they can uh, receive from this program. Mm -hmm. Or we, we'd also like to extend the invitation to any other community members. If you have any questions, please feel free to stop by and we'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Okay, thanks. Remember while you're watching, please leave a comment or ask a question so we can go ahead and address that as we move along. Uh, Upward Bound is funded through a grant from MCC. So what is the relationship uh, to MCC and District 50? I know, I know for a fact that um, the relationship between MCC and, and District 50 far surpasses how long I've been in this role. Um, but at this current time and, and going forward, MCC has been instrumental in offering the middle school students uh, an overlook into what college life can be like. We recently were part of um, a campus tour where we were able to present the Upper Bound program to the middle schools. Um, they were able to see what resources are available to them, what programs, what classes they can take at MCC. So a lot of great resources, a great introduction for them as well. Yeah, um, and then to add on to that too, um, MCC uh, really dedicates you know to, to reach out to the community. So for any um, community member that is looking for ESL classes, GED classes, um, you know, or dual cr uh, class credit, I know that they work very heavily. There's a lot of resources on campus that are actually out just to the community that not a lot of people know of. Um, so to really use and utilize those resources that MCC provides, because it's not just for the MCC students, it really is open to the community. Absolutely. And, if, and lastly, if I could just jump in real quick. Um, there is so many new, there are so many new changes um, being implemented this year with, with the MCC relationship in District 50. Mm -hmm. um, as of this year, there have been newly implemented uh, success coaches, um, career counselors in place at MCC that are, I know, are more than eager to assist mm -hmm. Harvard students who, who actually do make the journey onto MCC later in their academic career. And we're correct to say that this program actually helps our students transition to MCC. Absolutely. I, th I think that is safe to say. Okay. Um, yes, definitely. I would also agree with that. Um, the only thing I would also add is that we also wouldn't want to discourage any students that if, you know, they do have the opportunity to attend a four-year college, you know, we're mm -hmm. there to support them um, with their choice and to help them to every resource that they need, either if that's financially and helping them look for scholarships, financial aid. Um, we wouldn't discourage that at all. So whether they want to attend MCC, which is geographically and economically a really good choice for them, or if they have the opportunity to go to a four-year, we're more than happy to also provide those resources for them. Excellent. Thanks. 
So if I'm a parent or a student listening to this, why would I be wise to be part of this opportunity? Mm -hmm. that's, that's a great question. Did you want to? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, you know, this program is, is really empowering. I think that we built um, a curriculum where we can help inspire our students to really motivate themselves um, and create some good skills, just, you know, study skills, um, communication skills, anything of the above to really help push them to their greatest potential. Um, I think that this program is also very supportive and collaborative. We've gotten a lot of support from Harvard staff um, and then as well from the community and the parents uh, to really make this a very awesome holistic program for us um, because it wouldn't function with what, uh, one or the other. Um, so we've been really, really um, blessed in that opportunity. And if I can add to that, um this program is, is designed for, for these students to go out there and build these life-lasting relationships. You know, should it be with their peers here at Harvard High School or should it be with any other high schools who we uh, collaborate with? Um, it's just something that, that I, I believe will not only benefit them immediately but in, in the near future as well. But just simply put, it's, they're going to have a good time. It's going to be fun. Um, most importantly, the program is free. At no time will any Upward Bound participant ever have to pay for any, any activity or event that is, that is um, ran by Upward Bound. I know one of the real neat things about the program as we've been talking is the whole idea of just that constant support the roadmap that you kind of lay out there for them, because a lot of students don't know that roadmap. How do I get from here to mm -hmm. college? Yeah. Uh, you know, what's the next steps? What's the steps along the way? The thing I love about the program, though, too, is the tutoring. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think you do that at least is three or four. Is it three or four nights a week? Four nights four a week. Nights. I mean, that is such mm -hmm. an added support uh, yeah. for, for our students, and I think that's really important. Uh, again, as you're watching, please, uh, if you have a question or a comment, please leave that for us so we can go ahead and address that. Mm -hmm. um, any other Things, messages you like to get out to the folks watching? Well, lastly, I would say um, we've received uh, such a tremendous amount of support from MCC staff, District 50 staff, the Harvard community. So we, we are extremely grateful for that. Um, but we also like to emphasize if, if, if there is, are any questions or any doubts of whether or not my student may have, um, be eligible or qualify for the program, we, we'd like to emphasize that you please um, at, feel free to email us. Um, we're at upwardbound at mchenry.edu. You're more than welcome to contact us. Uh, my phone number is 815-321-1251. Um, Melissa? My phone number is 815-321-1704. So we're, this is definitely something so far from the 9 to 5 schedule. Please feel free to reach us at any time. Mm -hmm. We would be more than happy and willing to, to answer any questions that you may have. Talk about some of the specifics. Like I know the, we see kind of this built big roadmap, and there's going to be tutoring. But like, what's the day to day, week to week uh, kind of activities, events, uh, skills that students expect to learn, or what are they going to benefit just kind of as they go? I know the, what the end goal is. When you kind of talk about what they're going to be doing each week. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, it comes down to um, the effort from the student. We we will be more than happy and willing to provide the necessary resources, but half the battle is that effort and motivation from the students. So mm -hmm. simply put, if there is an area which the student is struggling, then that's where we would come in and we need to, we'd have to get those grades up and so on. Um, a lot of the day-to-day -day is the planning. Well, what can, how can we make this program and keep it interesting? How can we keep the students motivated? So a lot of it is doing research. What works, what doesn't, what are these, what, what sparks these uh, students' uh, interest? So a lot of the ideas um, that do come into the program and we actually put them into play would come from the actual students. So we, we highly encourage that open door policy. If any student should have any idea, please feel free to come to us and, and we can discuss it further from there. And on top of that, <clears throat> we really want to implement maybe some workshops, some informational workshops, if we can do anything with financial aid, career exploration, um, 
And then as well, you know, just kind of getting the grist of like how to find these scholarships that they are able to apply for. Um, so things of the like, and then if we can also get like um, motivational speakers or anybody just to talk about their experience of how they made it from, you know, maybe high school to college, depending on what their interests are um, career-wise, we could definitely bring speakers in. Um, I know that um, a lot of the MCC clubs there are actually very interested in starting a mentoring program with um, Harvard High School students. So we're hoping that if we can get impl something implemented uh, with them, that would be an awesome opportunity for the students to have. Um, so those are just some of the few ideas that we've been bouncing around as of lately. Could you talk about uh, a stu students who maybe they aren't thinking about college, the importance of being college ready, even if that's not maybe in your initial plans and how things can change? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and we realize that that's, that's natural, that that may happen to a, a lot of students, a number of students that may not know <clears throat> what they would like to major in, may not know if they just like to end their career at a, in high school. Um, but we're, we would treat every student as if they were going to college, and we would help them develop the necessary skills, should it be the, the study skills, um, <clears throat> how to self-awareness, how to build that self-motivation um, to, to help them find the resources necessary because, and it's, it's not just simply um, looking towards a, a four-year degree. Um, we, we just simply would like to introduce what is college to them initially and, and hopefully guide them along the way. Yeah, I think it's just providing another opportunity for them if they want to grasp onto that and it doesn't necessarily need to be a four-year um, degree. They can go to MCC and get a two-year degree or mm -hmm. go into a vocational training or get a certificate um, just to kind of enhance those skills that maybe they're, you know, already have on hand, but just really enhance that so they can get even something better towards the end. Okay, excellent. Uh, again, please leave a comment or a question uh, along with this. One of the things it sounds like what we're doing is we're just keep providing students with a lot of different tools mm -hmm. regardless what their next step is. Right. Yeah. Work ethic, just, you know, organizational skills, Absolutely. understanding and navigating the whole college process, the financial aid process, exposing yeah. students to other people who maybe have been an upward bound in their success mm -hmm. stories, those sure. kinds of yeah. things. Um, and I think what I see working with students is a lot of times they just don't know the how. So right. it sounds like what you're doing is you're laying the groundwork for the how. Yeah. If I choose to go to a certificate program or two-year college or, you know, um, mm -hmm. be an apprenticeship program or four-year college, these are all the steps I need to know. So then I can make that choice. Exactly. Yeah. So it sounds like you guys have a really neat program here that's going to really help serve our students here in Harvard. So we're really excited about the Upward Bound program. So with that, we'd like to thank you for joining us again. Like this uh, Facebook Live, leave a comment or, or, or a question if you can for us, and we'll, we'll try to get back to you. Thank you to both of our guests, uh, Renee thank and Melissa, you. for you. all their hard work, and we're really excited about where Upward Bound is going to take us in the future. So thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>